All right, so we arrived in Mabane, North Carolina, and I'm at the Tesla charging station. I think I arrived with about 32 miles or so. It's my second road trip with this Tesla, so I really want to keep track of like how things are working out. It says we'll actually be able to continue our trip in nine minutes. If I ran into the gas station and came back, I'd probably be able to continue my trip, get to where I was going, no problem. But because I'm charging all the way, it's probably gonna take a little bit longer than usual. Actually looking for a grocery store. I'm running to a grocery store really quick. When, within about 20 to 30 minutes, we should be good to go to get back on the road with a full charge. We're from Jamaica. Came here from Jamaica. Hi guys. Where's Zoe at? How you gonna hide that? Zoe hiding, Zoe don't wanna be on Rain YouTube channel. <laughs> Jordan, he be ready. Jordan did that jump a long time. <laughs> So I'm at the park right now and I'm about to test this feature here. So off rip, it tells us that we're parked 212 feet away. It looks like it's automatically like intelligently guessing where it's gonna go. So now it's giving me the option to go to target. So I'm gonna place this target right down here and I'm gonna hit go to target and I'm gonna hold it. This is insane. Okay, let's see what it does. I don't wanna hurt these people now. It's pretty smart enough to tell like what cars are actually cars. Like I'm pretty sure it sees this whole parking lot. I should have actually had something recording on the inside too. This is insane. It my car is driving itself. This actually works. So look what came in the mail. This is the airbag that we took out. It was connected via this yellow cord here that plugged into the right. Right here on the left, we have uh, the rest of the steering wheel controls. So I just unplugged both of those things. And the next thing I'm gonna do is now I gotta get this screw here in the middle to come all the way out. And I heard that that was pretty hard to do. I got the time lapse going up here. Okay, so it wasn't that bad. Cause you know I'm a strong man. Okay. <laughs> not that bad not that bad at all look how funny it looks without the steering wheel one day we might be driving these teslas without steering wheels like no steering wheel at all you pick your navigation would that be dope would you do that too scared wouldn't do it wouldn't trust it <laughs> all right vlog i'm deep in the game now i got the oem steering wheel pulled off the volume control and speed control all ripped out this is the guts of your steering wheel right here so now i gotta transfer all of this electronics into the new one for the yoke so that looks like unscrewing all these little screws and then taking the electronics from here copy paste and uh screwing them all back in so getting that done now and here we are with the yoke yeah yeah oh i like this this is dope i gotta go for a drive now oh this is different oh this is not the same bro <laughs> nah, nah, nah 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 hold on this feels like a whole different vehicle now having your hand down here just feels so natural the right turn actually feels really good but see my hand is just I'm used to the circle. So like when that part is missing, I gotta get used to that. All right, YouTube. So I'm back again with an update on the Model Y performance. Y'all have absolutely loved these videos. So I'm glad that I can share some more content on my customization and my process owning the vehicle. Cause this thing is awesome. This thing is a beast. 
I'm out, I'm talking about the drive is amazing. I'm cruising. I hit the autopilot. I don't gotta drive no more. So today I got the mud flaps from Amazon. Some aftermarket mud flaps. I know that Tesla sells their own mud flaps, but those mud flaps, they don't look that good to me. They only send you two of them for the front. They don't send none for the back. What's the point? I want mud flaps everywhere. I got the aftermarket ones on Amazon. Let's check them out. See if they're too flimsy. See what they look like. Let's see, how do you open this thing? Another box. So front right and rear right. The rear right is definitely a bit broader. From what I've seen online, setup should be pretty easy. All right, seems pretty easy. Let's do it. So they seem to fit on pretty well. And then uh, this should fit right on. Just like that. All right guys, so I finally got everything all installed and ready to go. And it, it's a small difference. Very, very small difference, my friend. small difference the mud flaps serve as a blocking for rocks and rubble to be hitting the side of the car here and uh same thing here in the back and can i just be honest with you guys it looks cool